Remember when we all said just give the iPad real desktop experience already? Well, Apple might have actually just listened to us. This is iPad OS 26, and it's more than just a visual redesign. From built-in AI tools, a real preview app, and finally, finally, real windowing and multitasking, Apple just made the iPad less into a big iPhone and more into something that could actually replace your laptop. So let's take a look at what's new, what's weird, and what still needs work. Let's start with the most obvious change, the new visual interface iPadOS 26 now features what Apple calls liquid glass. It's a much more cleaner, much more layered, and transparent design language. Originally, the new liquid glass design language was more of a Vision Pro exclusive, as it was Apple's first device to feature the glass morphism UI design. But as Craig Federighi said, more and more Apple users are beginning to use their devices interchangeably. That means switching from Mac to iPhone or iPad, or from Vision Pro to another Apple device, for whoever has a Vision Pro. So Apple wanted a design language that could feel universal and could scale across all their devices, from the iPhone all the way to the Vision Pro. Their answer to that question was liquid glass. It's mostly visual, but I feel like it's trying to be more physical, detailed, and rich for that extra depth perception. Now by no means do I think it is bad. In fact, in my own honest opinion, I think the new liquid glass UI design looks pretty rad. There's a noticeable refraction effect when you swipe up to unlock the device now. Widgets are now translucent and, well, everything is translucent actually. And sliders now have a magnifying glass effect on them. I'll be honest, while all of this does look cool, I think it's gonna eat your GPU for breakfast. Even on my M2 iPad Pro, which is relatively quite new, it's starting to be a bit laggy, so if you're on an older system like an A12 iPad Pro, I don't think you should download the dev beta yet. You should probably wait for some certain optimizations to make it more efficient. But let's talk about the thing many people, including I myself, were looking forward to. The new multi-windowing system. So iPadOS 26 now features an all-new multi-windowing system, and this time, it's actually pretty good unlike earlier versions. You now get free moving windows and custom window sizes, unlike with Stage Manager before where you had to work with whatever they gave you. The new multi-windowing system also replaces split view and slide over. You can fling an app to the right or left to snap it in place or fling it to the top for full screen. Now, because of these new software changes, you now have two main ways to use the iPad. Conventionally, like how it always has been, using your finger to navigate through the display, and finally now, you can sort of use it like a MacBook too. Well, at least to some extent. The windowing system is also very macOS-like. They added a menu bar for apps, which originally is a macOS feature, added Expose, the iPad equivalent of Mission Control on Mac, and they also added a preview app, so you no longer have to use the Books app for viewing PDFs. A big win for those who use iPad for PDFs and documents. This is the biggest OS update for the iPad ever since the birth of iPad OS itself. Full redesign, real multitasking, productivity-oriented features, and more AI features. Productivity-wise, this is the most usable iPad OS has ever been absolutely no debate on that. The Files app has been improved, they added list view with resizable columns and collapsible folders, just like macOS has, and folder customization for easier identification. Also, you can now drag folders to your dock, as well as control which app opens PDFs, files, or images by default. Now, all of this sounds well and good, but there are several things that are still a bit rough around the edges, notably the battery performance. The liquid glass UI and windowing features are admittedly great, but boy are they heavy on the GPU. On my M2, that equates to faster battery drain and slight framing on the heavier animations. On older hardware like the non-M series iPad Pro, that might be a bigger issue as you're running with less power and more battery drain, so optimizations are obviously needed. But honestly speaking, this is actually pretty smooth for a beta, especially one as early as this. Though I say that with an asterisk by the way, because sure there might be a stutter once in a while, but for a beta, it's reasonably smooth, especially for a build as early as this. As per bugs, there obviously will be bound to be some as this is a beta. Here we see that on multi-window mode, this little icon here is misplaced. The games app is also a bit buggy, but that's expected considering that it's very new. But it's good that Apple is trying to actively bring gaming onto the iPad. 
The iPad's form factor is high key perfect for gaming. You get a big screen, great speakers, and if you're on the iPad Pro, you get a 120Hz refresh rate panel. We'll just have to wait and see how the devs start optimizing their titles for the iPad platform. But for now, it certainly looks promising, considering that the iPad has that powerful M chip and great controller support. Oh, and one more thing. Control Center looks a bit weird with the new liquid glass UI as it blends in with the background. Actually, I think it blends in with the background a bit too well. Now maybe, just maybe, they could use a frosted glass finish to add contrast to the background. But that's iPadOS 26 for you. They finally gave us features we've been asking for for years. Now by no means is it perfect, in fact it's very far away from it. The iPad still lacks Xcode and sideloading features, features that are very important towards developers. But bro on god this is the closest the iPad has ever been to feeling like a full blown laptop, and that's definitely a step in the right direction. With this update, I'm very sure Apple has just cemented the iPad lineup as the heir to the 12 inch MacBook. But hey, that's just my take. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Hit like if you liked the video and sub for more content like this. And as always, thanks for watching. Love you all. Have a nice day.